Cam Newton is back with the Carolina Panthers. And that's just going to change things in offense a little bit. But we want to focus more on DJ Moore. He's had an up and down season. A lot of downs this season. He had an up and down season last year. Is he a good prospect? Yeah, he, he is. He's very good. He's still a very good young wide receiver who can be productive for a lot of years on end. However, we want to see how he can marinate with Cam Newton, how he's potentially could be going forward, and if he's worth really trusting in our fantasy lineups. Last week, he scored 16 fantasy points. Wide receiver, two production not bad not shabby i think that's that's a good thing that's a good thing to see but i really want to focus on the film today focus on them highlights so you guys get an idea how good dj moore actually is here's the first play we're going to cover dj moore's in the slide at the bottom of your screen let's go ahead and run this baby so here's the snap here's him getting off the line scrimmage is going to drift inside a little bit, kind of attack the linebacker sitting here, and then cut out. This gives him a little bit more space to breathe out here, and he knows, and we know, that he's going to instantly get that separation from the linebacker because he's a lot quicker, a lot faster. Backer's trying to stick with him. That's not going to happen. He gets the target, and now he's going to move upfield. And just a simple, easy play here buy more but the one thing you want to think about here is how quickly he gets in and out of his break so right here bop bop no drifting just quick hitters on the footwork and that's what i like to see about more he's very assertive with that feet boom boom and that allows him to get in and out of that break allows him to create that separation quick and get the target like we see there restart here's the first play we're going to cover Here's the first play we're going to cover. DJ Moore is in the slot at the bottom of your screen here. 0-0. Zero, zero. They're in shotgun. Let's go ahead and run this play real quick. So again, DJ Moore is getting off the line of scrimmage. And he does something interesting here. He kind of drifts towards the, the linebacker here. Kind of gets almost midline to him. He's looking at him heads up. And really, when he breaks off this route, it just gives him more space to operate with. We know this backer isn't going to be able to keep up with him step for step. He's not quick enough. Hardly anybody's quick enough to keep up with DJ Moore. So really, we're just trying to get more space to manipulate the yards after the catch. Uh, one thing I want you guys to think about is how quickly he gets in and out of those breaks. So bam, boom, boom. No drifting you see in the route, not much at all. Just quick footwork and assertiveness, and then that just allows him to create that separation and allow him to work in the space here to get the target, catch the ball, work a little bit upfield. Eventually, he does get corralled. Not a huge gain, not a sexy play, but again, there's some stuff to work off here that we like from a wide receiver. Quick breaks, good separation, and assertive. Here's the next play we're going to cover. DJ Moore's at the bottom of your screen. He's on ball. Play's kind of already started. But let's see how this goes for him. So here he's coming off the line of scrimmage. He's got a DB with him, a man coverage here. And here he's just going to hit that break right around here, get that separation. Another thing you want to think about is we got a DB right, right in that area. And Cam Newton stepping up in the part, pocket sucks him in. And with more... Getting that hole in the zone area right there with that DB trailing. It's going to get an easy target here for the score. Easy catch, easy play for him. And really the mobility here of Cam Newton, that threat causing those DBs to suck in. Helped Moore get the target, helped him get the easy score. Good play by both dudes. On this play, DJ Moore's at the top of your screen. He's on ball. He's on the outside there. So let's go ahead and run this baby. So here he's getting off the line of scrimmage. Working off the line of scrimmage. Nothing special on the release here. He's just getting to a spot. And the defense is in zone here. You can see the, the cornerback slip off the coverage for him to get in his area. The linebackers are in their spots. And you got a little hole there that he's going to work for in the comeback area. So here he sits in it. Ball's coming his way. 
bam, gets the target. So that's really good awareness, knowing where the defense is going to be, reading this linebacker. That linebacker there is just sitting there, not moving or anything, just trying to take away from that other pass catcher who's in his lane. And this allows him to really take advantage of this hole right here in the zone. Gets the target. Easy catch, easy play. Here's the next play. DJ Moore's at the top of your screen. He's on ball. He's got a DB over top of him, but he's a few yards away. Straight up on each other. Let's see what happens. That DB backpedals a bit, giving him a little bit of room. And DJ Moore's release is angled inward, kind of like a slant, but he's just going to curl it off here, right there, get the target. They're just taking advantage of this little window, catches the ball, goes to work upfield. I mean, him bouncing off contact, working upfield is a good thing to see. He's fighting for the yards. Look at them having trouble getting him down. He's a stocky dude, um, tough wide receiver. Um, smaller guy, but more stockier than you think. Gets the target here. Catches it. Easy play, easy money. Nothing special, but the fact that they're targeting him, getting him, getting him in position where he can manipulate the holes in the zone is always a good thing to see. Here's the next play. We're on a cover. DJ Moore's at the top of your screen. He's in the slot. He's on ball. Let's go ahead and run this play. Uh, starting off here, we, the DP over top of him, he, he's playing off of him, so he's going to have some space to work with here. So they're going to attack that. He's coming off the line of scrimmage. Nothing special with the release. Really just looking at the DB, really just trying to be in his head. And then, bam, hits that break. And again, smooth. Minimal drift, just natural drift, if anything. Nothing, nothing to note negative. Really just smooth in and out of that break. Watching it go in real time. Bam. Gets the target. Got the separation. Taking advantage of the space. Making the catch on the out route. Just a good play. Just your basic pitch and catch. But really, just he's very smooth at making these quick cuts. Right there. Bam. Just very smooth out of that. That's going to allow him to continue this lead. Get the short, quick, intermediate passes during the course of his career going forward. And... Obviously, we've seen this as a track record throughout his entire career. So it makes him one of the better wide receivers in the league. Again, his production has not been matching up to his talent. I think this might create buying opportunities in dynasty and redraft fantasy football going forward. The older he gets, probably the cheaper he'll be. And we'll eventually get those splash seasons if he continues to be on the field playing like he is. He's a good wide receiver, I guarantee you. Every other NFL team in the league would love to have him. And honestly, sky's the limit for him. He's a young player. He's been productive off and on throughout his career. He hasn't been perfect production-wise. However, he's got big play potential. He's efficient. Overall, he's a good wide receiver. Career comparison, not player comparison really. It, it kind of got a, like a, a Brandon Cooks vibes where like he's been doing things on the field, getting targets, making touchdowns, making plays, but really the masses are not really accepting it, appreciating it. And then when you look over the course of his career, later on down the road, look at those game logs and everything, you're going to be like, man, DJ Moore was a damn good player. That's probably what we're going to get from DJ Moore. So just make sure you appreciate him while you have him. But I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to keep putting out this content. It fuels me to keep going over the tape with you guys and everything else. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.